Hi friends, welcome to SN CA Study Club, a platform for CA final students. So here we are moving towards the ninth, uh, sorry, eighth question. Well, the question provides that. A partner of a firm of chartered accountants during a TV interview handed over a biodata of his firm uh, biodata of his firm to the chairperson. Such biodata detailed the standing of the international firm with which the firm was associated. It also detailed the achievement of the concerned partner and his recognition as an expert in the field of taxation in the country. The chairperson read out the biodata during that interview, discuss whether this action by the chartered accountant would amount to misconduct or not. See, this is the question, okay. So, partner given uh, is attending what an interview, and he provided a bio data which has stated that his uh, his firm's association with international firm and the concerned partner's achievements. Plus, he is also provided the detail that he is expert in the field of taxation. So, the next question is that whether this partner is guilty of professional misconduct. This is the question. Okay, so. We have to indicate the relevant clause part and schedule, or we have to compare it with the relevant clause part and schedule and determine whether he is guilty of professional misconduct. Clause six, what? Clause six, part one, schedule first, first schedule. So, what is providing in clause six? C A in practice shall be deemed to be guilty of professional misconduct if he solicit his professional work or attainment. Uh, sorry, professional work. If he solicit professional work or client that is it means that it can be either directly or indirectly so he is providing what he is providing the bio data through that interview which also provided the details with respect of the association of his firm with the international firm and uh, it also provided their professional attainment and described that he is expert in the field of taxation it amount whether it amounts to solicitation this is my question what is your opinion this is a kind of solicitation that is he is soliciting or he is promoting his work or he is uh, trying to generate what clients or getting more professional work. So he is guilty of professional misconduct as per clause 6 part 1 schedule 1. So first of all you have to indicate what relevant clause. Relevant clause indicate that is clause 6. As per clause 6 uh, of the Part 1 first schedule, CA in practice shall be deemed to be guilty of professional misconduct if he solicit client or professional work either directly or indirectly through circular advertisement, personal communication or interview or any means which is not open to a chartered accountant. So here he is ad uh, adopting a mean which is not open to him. But he can attend the interview but he can't make what uh, such an interview shall not be in a nature of solicitation. But here partner is attending the interview and providing this much of details which is amount to solicitation or he is making the promotion of his firm hence he is deemed to be guilty of professional misconduct this is the answer of part 8 question okay